Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 14th annual Dentist Derby. We're here at the biggest event of the year with Toothbrush Racing. Let's meet the contestants over here. There's Carl Jones with his toothbrush. Gingy, how's she doing? Well, sir, she's been doing great. We've been rushing, we've been rinsing, rinsing. we've been choking small infants. Everything we need to do to kick some major gingivitis ass. Here's Thomas Grumble of Eugene, here with his brush. What is your strategy, son? Well, you see, I believe that toothbrushes and people are equal beings. His pain is my pain, you see. When he's a really good boy, which he always is, I give him some Sensodyne to ease the pain. That's why I named him the friendliest toothbrush of the northern seas. He's a good boy. You're a good boy. Yes, you're a good boy. Here is Geoff Razuk of Charlton, here with Listerine. How are you doing, sir? Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm training? Now, horse meat, we're going to do this right, and we're going to win. You hear me? Don't you backsass me. And here we are at the start of the race. Folks, the moment we've all been waiting for is about to begin. Bang! And they're off! Move, you sack of meat! You take your go, time. You go, cheap go, Asian go, go, blast! Go, go, you can go, do go, it. Go, go. You can't win anything! Go, go, go. You have to I know you can do it. I know you can do it. Bumped into me. I'm so sorry, sir. You know I didn't what happens to. to people who bump into me? What? Sit. Wait. What? Time out. It's a time out chair. Sir, I don't have time for this. I'm time out. Sit in the chair. Sir, I have a date to go on to. I really don't. Every time you talk in the time out chair, five minutes are added. Ten minutes. Sir, I don't have time to That's play around. Fifteen minutes. Come on, sir. I don't have time. Twenty Come on, but... minutes. Fine. Whatever. Twenty-five. I was agreeing with you, that shouldn't count! 30 minutes, better stop talking! No, I'm just leaving! Ah. Well, if you step out of the timeout chair, you get to spank it. Good choice. This is not how you treat adults, this is how you treat kids! Oh, how do you treat adults then? Like this! Ah. You're grounded! Well, I could beat a lion, I could just kill a lion, just rip off its jaws and like, ah, like that, I could do that, yeah. Oh, uh, you're just a stupid coward. I'm not a coward! Yeah, you are. You know what? Fine. To prove it, yeah. I'll make you a bet. I can jump over that sign right there. Alright. I hurt my... I hurt my... It's called a sack. Oh, you are the biggest no. waste of two dollars! I know I two ever hours. spent! No, two hours. Don't. No. Teddy! Teddy! What now? Hello. <laughs> Good night. No, don't go away. I need you. I'm scared. Well, what can I do about that? Can you tickle me? Ah, I'm... Oh, no! Just a little something under the armpits. Please? No! Tickle, and nothing else. How would I get to some sheep or even ostriches to count? The baby in the dresser is going to cry if you don't tickle me. I'm not tickling you. <laughs> baby awake, baby mad. What the? Oh, baby in closet, Nazis in dresser. Actually, it's just as the lions. You were for coming to dinner, my friends. Dinner was lovely. Oh, by the way, my sweet, I cheated on you. But I know you'll forgive me. You are such a loving person after all. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, she's right. 
You're just one of the friendliest people I have ever met. Just so friendly. I just know you're gonna lend me $200. Why, well, yes, I suppose I am quite friendly. <laughs> oh, how modest. In fact, I'm so confident in your companionship, I just know you're going to invite my friend Jerry over. Oh, sure. Where is he? And where do I get a hold of him? He's upstairs, in your room. I told him he could take a nap on your bed because he was so tired. Why don't you go ask him if he'll join us? You amazing person, you. <laughs> amazing. How nice of you, Goblin. I'll go fetch him. Hello? Jerry? I hope you don't mind, but I killed your dog. What? I killed your dog. Oh, well, I suppose the dog was a bit of an old bloke anyway. Ah, oh, that's alright. Oh, good. Because I did the same thing to your mother. Well, yes. Anyway, Goblin wants to know if you'd like to join us for dinner. Oh, no. Uh, being the wealthy man that you are, I cleaned out your fridge, so I'm pretty stuffed. <laughs> well, I suppose I am pretty wealthy from all my accomplishments. Well, I better get back to my mates. Nice meeting you, Jerry. Well, I expect you to cuddle me when you come back. Alright, where were we? Well, I believe you were about to offer me a massage. You look like you would be good at it. Do you work out? Oh, listen. Lately, I'm starting to get this... Feeling. It, uh... Something the matter, Paul. Well, yes, but I'm not sure if it's right to say. Spit it out, Paul. We're your friends, and we're here for you. <sighs> All right. Well, lately, it seems like you guys have been friends with me just to get favors off me. <gasps> Are you saying we're manipulating you? Well, I think that we should leave to keep Paul here. There's no time to calm down. I've never been so disrespected in all my life. This is an outrage! How dare you lash out at us, your friends! No! Wait! I'm sorry! Well, Paul, I'm sorry it didn't work out with your friends. But at least you still have me. Yes, we're quite close for comfort. Yes, uh, you're a very reassuring friend. Reassure me with a lullaby. But Wait, I, I, I don't know any. Do it, you fantastic friend. Fantastic? Well, all right. Lullaby, go to sleep. Go to sleep, little Jerry. Oh, go, 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 go. When recommend go, 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 you go, go, if you sign go, go, their suit. To dump there, Langdon. Just the usual stuff. Some compost, not intelligence, ah, some yes. dead kittens. All the regular stuff. Uh, I could have sworn I saw a stroller today, but it's just turned out to be a box full of clothes. <laughs> and consider it bastards. Never give us anything we really need, like a toaster, a microwave, or a bed. Just clothes. Nothing exciting. Say, fellas, isn't that Charles over there? Doing the whole mug bit. Yeah, the Begging for money, and he gets so much just because he's missing one leg. Look at me! I'm missing my third nipple! Your third nipple? My third nipple. Factory messed me up. So, oh, yeah. T-shirt on his ass before he started failing at life. Yeah! You know what? Let's go over there right now! Yeah. Teach him a jolly good lesson! For the last time, you grovel! Not beg. There's a whole science to it. Sheesh. Shit thought that before you started failing at life. I can't even do this right. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I'm pinched. Let's head to the box. Yeah. yeah. All right, Porter. Get out. You've had your day in the box. <laughs> what has he got there? Is that is that chicken? Porter has chicken! Get him! On guard! <laughs> Give us some chicken! Get Give that chicken! chicken! Porter! <laughs> well, what do you think? So, yeah.
Life is too short to live. I mean, acting for a living? What's the point? I could have been something like a lawyer or a janitor or a... or a wine cellar even. Except here I, I'm hanging now. Hey, squirrel. Yeah, you got your freedom. I'm just a wreck. Ah, the sweet smelling wind. The noose of life. Life is grand. I'm so happy, oh, happy that lucky me. I just go my way, living every day. I don't worry, worries come to free. Things that bother you never bother me. Love it in the moonlight, happy for once upon a time. Having got a lot, I don't need a lot, for he's only a star. Living in the sunlight, loving in the moonlight, happy.